Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are taking a look at BERT. So BERT stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers. And this was a model that was released in 2018 by Google researchers. Um, and you can find uh, the models on Hugging Face for the account organization Google BERT. But the easy way to think of uh, BERT, or this is the easiest way that I like to understand it, is that there's that transformer architecture that we saw from all, uh, attention is all you need. If you were to just take the encoder and then feed it into itself multiple times, you would get BERT. And at least that's how I understand it to be. Um, and so BERT is bidirectional, meaning that it can retext both left to right and right to left to understand the context of text. So it really does understand um, the context of, of, of words and where they are in sentences. Um, BERT is pre-trained on the following task. So it uses mass language model. Um, and so that kind of task is where you provide, uh, let's say a sentence, and then you have like fill in the blanks. So they say that they mass tokens for uh, sentence input, but I would describe it as uh, it's filling the blanks for sentences. The other part of it is it does next sentence prediction. So this is provided, this is where you provide two sentences, um, A and B. And so the idea is that BERT will predict if B would follow A. So by being trained on these two things, um, it provides it the ability to uh, be aware, uh, contextually aware of sentences uh, and be very good at natural language processing. Now, the model itself in this state, you're not gonna do anything with it. You need to then train it further for a specific task. And so this could be for name entity rec uh, recognition, questioning answering, sentence pair task, summarization, feature extraction, embeddings, and more. There's absolutely more things that you can do here. And BERT comes in uh, many, many different sizes. So you have the base, which is 100 million parameters. You have large, which is 240 parameters. You have uh, tiny, which is 4 million parameters. And there's like 24 or so other additional models. Um, if you go to the Wikipedia, it tells you how much data it was trained on. It was something like 800 million something somethings. Uh, and it was like the, the corpus text was from the Toronto Library and the Wikipedia English. So this is primarily trained on English. I'm sure there are multilingual variants uh, if we were to go over um, to Hugging Face. And uh, there are many BERT variants that try to be better or solve other things uh, with BERT, um, which is fine. And while BERT is an older model, it is still used and it's ubiquitous baseline in natural language processing. So when I say that, I mean like they use it as a baseline or, or uh, against other, other things because it's just uh, so good um, that it's not going away anytime soon. Here's an example of using BERT. So I'm just get my pen tool out here so we can get a little bit closer here. But the idea here is that here we're using um, Transformers, which is a hugging face library, and we are loading in the sentiment analysis pipeline. And what's that gonna do? Is that it's going to download the, the BERT-based uncase model that is specifically trained for sentiment analysis. Now I said earlier that BERT it, in its pre-trained state, you wouldn't use it for anything, right? You need to train it further uh, for those tasks. And so it doesn't look like it, but it is actually pulling a, a, a trained, a, a very specifically trained one on this size of model. And so here we can uh, take these two sentences and then we can, um, uh, do sentiment, sentiment analysis on it and get a score back. So hopefully um, that makes sense there. But yeah, you're going to see BERT again and again and again. So it's worth your time to learn.